up friends I'm gonna start part one of the Fokker D7 or Fokker whichever you prefer here I'm gonna start off with the main wing let's move this down to the side all right for the main wing here we're gonna need two pieces of foam board I got it written on the sheets go ahead and tape two of them together just line them up guys nice and straight Alright, this is going to be the top side of the wing, so that's where I put my tape. I'm going to take and flip these over, because I want the tape on the top of the wing instead of seeing hot glue. Alright, now on the plans, I'm going to go ahead and cut, cut the main wing off. center line on the main wing with the foam board that we just taped together make sure it's nice and straight go ahead and tape that down make sure your plans are nice and flat you guys This is a bottom wing. I heard him show you. You can see how I'm making them now, where the bottom just folds over to the bottom of the wing. fuselage and the other pieces we'll get to those in part two all right so here I got my main wing taped down on here I'll just show you where the center of the foam board is here as you can see I made it nice and straight on the foam All right, now on the plans, I just got a straight cut the whole piece, which is going to be all the way around the whole wing, and also the piece that's going to fold onto the bottom. But what I now you guys can do these with scallops or without the scallops. Me, I, I like the scallops. Go ahead and cut those. They're a little more time consuming, but it just makes the wing look really cool. I'm going to try to rush through this. I have to make five videos. Make 
sure you guys got some nice new razor blades too especially for the scallops here So now I did my scallops. Now I'll just come back. Piece of balsa wood I got laying around here. I like to use a straight edge for this. Now we can finish off cutting around the outer ends of the wing. I'm just going to freehand everything, guys. Alright, now we got to create the airfoil on the wing. So I have score and v-notch, all three of these lines. There's three lines that will create the airfoil. When you score and v-notch this line, you'll be able to bend the bottom of the wing up over here. I'm going to go ahead and score each one of the, these lines. There's three of them. I'm also going to score and v-notch the front line connects our two pieces and again I'm just gonna freehand it and when I say you just want to score guys make sure you don't cut all the way through cut like 50 percent through Alright, now where the two pieces meet, where this piece is going to, I have it here, it's going to fold back. This corner is going to fold back to the hinge line. So you're also going to want to score there. Make sure you just don't cut all the way through, guys. 50% will work for the first pass. And 
and this will be the leading edge of the wing. There we go, now I can finish cutting out the main wing. Sometimes you gotta go back and hit a few areas. You can always flip it over to see where you missed. Always keep your plans guys, don't throw them out. See where I missed on some of these scallops. I'll save those pieces and might get something else out of them. Alright, now for your scallops, you guys can just finish cutting them off. Sometimes the paper will get stuck on the back a little. There's our scallops. Go ahead and clean them up with my fingers.
All right. So you can see where we uh, scored and B-notched all of our lines. I actually just scored them so far. I'm going to go back with the hot glue gun now. Make sure you guys are working on a level surface. I'm going to go ahead and fill in this gap where I join the two pieces. I went ahead and where we had our tape line joining the two pieces, I just went ahead and connected them with some hot glue. Alright, now where our two pieces are going to fold are right here. I want to go ahead and uh, V-notch this out because this has got to fold back. But actually, let's let's go ahead and do our ailerons first. I'm just going to go ahead and cut one aileron off one side of the plan. Mark this out with a pen on both ends. There's going to be a marks for our ailerons. I just use the same piece of plan, just flip it over to the other side. I'll just connect the lines here. We're going to go ahead and hinge both these ailerons before we fold the wing back. Now we're going to want to hinge it on the bottom side of the wing. Again, this is the top where the tape is. That was the top of our wing with the tape, and this is the bottom side where we scored it, and this is the same side you're going to want to hinge. So I'm going to go ahead and hinge it from the back. What I like to do, guys, is go ahead and just score it. notch out of it. And I just freehand out anything that I got a V-notch. So I'm cutting at like a 45 into the line. Same thing on this side. Just make sure you don't cut all the way through the foam board. Now you can go ahead and spread that out with anything you got on hand. 
just run a crease down the center of it. That's going to give us our movement for our I like to use a little Phillips screwdriver in here. So there you see we got our hinge. You can trim off a little bit of this inside so it don't rub. And also right on the very end here. There we got one hinge in our wing. Let's go ahead and hinge this other side. So again, just 50% cut. Make sure you guys don't cut all the way through. notch it. I don't mind building these for the build videos because I'll just use this airframe. Say I crash my other one. Here I'm just giving a little space on these ends so they don't rub. Alright, so we got our wing hinged. Alright guys, don't throw out your plans for your wing, because that, that's part of the wing that I drew the wing struts on. But now what I have here is a wing spar. This was a on the wing itself too. Let's go ahead and take a separate piece of foam. Go ahead and cut out this wing spar right now. I had it marked on the wing, don't cut out the wing spar until after you made the main wing. The width of the wing spar is 5 sixteenths, and it's marked on the plans too. off here. I do like to use a ruler on my wing spar.
very important that you get your wing spar the correct width all the way down nice and straight I want the wing to be uniform all the way down the wing spar for the main wing. Now you can see where we got we scored this. Now I want to finish off the other three score lines and break them like how I got that one. Gonna run my knife down them. Again, take care that you don't cut all the way through the foam board. I'll go ahead and break break the foam board at all three of those lines. four lines scored and again this piece is going to fold back onto the hinge line here and this is the bottom view of the wing so what we're going to want to do is v-notch I'm going to v-notch the first three lines that create the airfoil and I'll just v-notch it from the back side of the line Again, make sure you guys don't cut all the way through the foam board. Do the same thing on the second one. I like to run my knife down once, then come back and just put a nice angle on it in toward the line. That way I don't cut all the way through the foam board. Then we'll do the same on the third line. going to create our airfoil bend as you can see but now I want a v-notch where the two bottom of the wing and top of the wing we're going to fold together and I like to cut a pretty big v-notch out of this guys and really all you got to do is work on just concentrate on It's nice and straight. You can go ahead and tape that down. Make sure your plans are nice and flat, you guys. This is a bottom wing. I heard him show you. You can see how I'm making them now, where the bottom just folds over the bottom of the wing.
or without the scallops. Me, I, I like the scallops. I'm going to go ahead and cut those. They're a little more time consuming, but it just makes the wing look really cool. I'm gonna try to rush through this. I have to make five videos. Now we can take these plans. Here's fuselage and the other pieces. We'll get to those in part two. All right, so here I got my main wing taped down on here. I'll just show you where the center of the foam board is here. As you can see, I made it nice and straight on the foam. All right, now on the plans, I just got a straight cut the whole piece, which is going to be all the way around the whole wing, and also the piece that's going to fold onto the bottom. But what I now you guys can do these with scallops. But friends, I'm going to start part one of the Fokker D7 or Fokker, whichever you prefer. Here I'm going to start off with the main wing. Let's move this down to the side. Alright, for the main wing here, we're going to need two pieces of foam board. I got it written on the sheets. I'm going to go ahead and tape two of them together. Line them up, guys, nice and straight. All right, this is going to be the top side of the wing, so that's where I put my tape. I'm going to take and flip these over because I want the tape on the top of the wing instead of seeing hot glue. All right, now on the plans, I'm gonna go ahead and cut cut the main wing off. Now we're gonna line up the center line on the main wing with the foam board that we just taped together.